Hello everybody, it's Penny Shelton and today is Thursday, November the 4th. So yesterday I made the main video for our main forum where I shared just real simple ideas that I had gotten early on in my raw food journey from David Wolf. A couple of tips that I had gotten from him that have been super helpful for me and I have to admit I thought that video was so lame. I like I don't know why I made the video and I just almost didn't put it on the website because I thought God, that is so lame. That's so like elementary boring. But what is so funny to me is that particular thread probably has had more comments and interaction than just about anything I've ever put up on the website. So that just went to show me that I don't have a clue. And I need to just go with what my gut level instinct is and what I want to share with you all and be done with it. So I've got another little tip today for you that I'm going to share that's really, really helped me a lot. And it's kind of funny, but I want to just back up a little bit and explain a little background as to you know where this is coming from and why I'm bringing it up right now. Um, in our vault portion of the website, the vault is um, a private room for people that sign up during our 11-week initiatives. A lot of you already know that. And we have about 170 or so members in there. And so a discussion thread went up um, real shortly after Halloween by one of our members. And I thought it was a great post. And I want to read a little bit. I'm not going to tell you who put it up because, you you know, I haven't cleared it with her to see if it's okay that I share her name. But um, let me just read it to you because you're going to relate. Some of you are going to relate to this. She says, I am not really one for sweets usually, but I can tell that I must have a sugar addiction that needs to be kicked. I took a trip to Montana recently for a reunion. I had some beer and wine there, then a little bit more once I got home. This past weekend, I totally overate at my mom's house for dinner, mostly veggies, but I also had some wine and dessert. Now I have raided some Halloween candy and I need help. I did so well today with my eating homemade nut milk, chia pudding, beautiful fall green smoothie. Um, then she had a lettuce wrap, then some warmed soup, but then she went for the crackers and then the candy. And she said, after that mini binge, I threw away all the candy and the crackers in the trash outside. I'm done with that. But I feel like I'm sabotaging my weight loss goals for some reason. I have about 15 pounds left to lose. But I have been at this plateau for weeks now, and I'm not losing anything due to my constant treating myself to drinks or dessert or cooked meals. What should I do to kick it once and for all? That's a question that needed to be asked, and it's been asked, and so many of us deal with this. And so um, let, me, let me tell you what I said. We've had great response in the vault to this. We've had a lot of comments, but... Uh, for the sake of this particular discussion, I'm going to share what I shared. And I say, here is a little game that I have played with myself when I find myself slipping into some of my old patterns and behaviors that you speak of. I pretend that I am Angela Stokes. Perhaps this is the actress in me, but I literally wake up in the morning and I mentally role play with myself. I ask the question, what would Angela Stokes do? I choose to become Angela Stokes when Penny's little brat starts acting out. Angela Stokes would not eat candy or drink a half a bottle of wine. Angela would not be caught in the kitchen with her hand down in the wavy Lay's potato chip bag. And you know what? Angela Stokes doesn't even buy those kinds of things, right? Um, Angela Stokes lovingly goes into the kitchen and blends up a green juice or a green smoothie. She takes the time to move her body and to be playful during her day, even if that means some other things don't get done. Angela makes a big, beautiful salad, or she prepares a quick energy soup for lunch or dinner. Angela snacks on kale chips and a piece of fresh fruit. She stays calm and detached when all the stresses of life and action are happening all around her. Angela knows how to check out and go to her happy place. So, what would Angela Stokes do? This always works to get me back into the game. And can you relate to that? I remember when Tim Van Orden was in Tulsa and we got we had the opportunity and I had the pleasure of spending a good portion of the day after he had done a our local he, he spoke at our local meetup. And we hung out and I kind of picked his brain a little bit. And one of the tips that he shared with me is that we have to, 
reprogram our thinking. Um, what would a raw foodist do? How does a raw food person eat? A raw food person does not go to a convenience store and load up on candy bars and junk food. They don't drive through, they don't even think to do that. So there is a learning curve for some of us who maybe have struggled. Um, so we do have to look at that. Now, um, role playing helps. I mean, it's helped me a ton. And um, I, I really want to surround myself with people who I want to be like. Angela Stokes is, is, is one of my mentors. She always has been. And she really does walk the walk. And there are many other people that I could name. Annie Pio. Um, so many people who I have had the opportunity to get, to get to meet and actually walk with in real life and be with them and see how they live their life. And it's... Um, it's something to do to surround yourself with people who have already achieved what you're wanting to achieve because they will help you renew your mind and get past some of this old stuff. Um, and so I didn't think it was a coincidence today when in my inbox I got, uh, and I get this, if, if some of you have heard of Goop, it's Gwyneth Paltrow's very cool website and she sends out email blasts on occasion. And today's email blast was on overcoming sugar addiction because I think that a lot of us, especially women, well, men, men do too. So many of us deal with sugar addiction and we may not have even called it that, you know, but, but it's a reality and we can be a raw foodist and still have a sugar addiction, you know, where we're really reaching constantly for the agave nectar, the honey that, you know, and we're really overdoing it on some of these sweets. And so when I saw this come up in my inbox, I'm like, okay, we're obviously all getting synchronized here, so I basically just copied and pasted this article from Frank Lipman, MD, who I very first heard of Dr. Lipman from my friend Drew Mel Perot at, at Give It To Me Raw and We Like It Raw, and he had done an awesome interview with Dr. Um, Younger and Dr. Lipman, and I think I will try to put the link to that podcast because it was great. Um, but Dr. Lipman's awesome. He's in New York, and so he's outlining what to do to overcome your sugar addiction. So that's in the Wellness Center. And I want to highly encourage all of you all to go read that. And um, I just think that this is something that we, as individuals and as a community, can really help to support one another on this journey. Um, because when our body's really fully nourished and getting the nutrients that it needs, I believe that it will crave less and less sugar. That's at least been my perspective, uh, or my experience, I should say. But you know what happens is, is when I slip back into some of these heavier, more gourmet raw foods like I've been making for the last two weeks on Foodie Friday when I've been doing the pumpkin episodes, these recipes have had a little bit more sugar, uh, even though it's natural, healthier sugars. I have found that it's kind of caused me to make some poor choices after that. So it does something. It tricks my palate out in a way that I don't like. So we have to break the cycle. And so hopefully this information will help you. What would Angela Stokes do? You know, think about that. Or if you have another raw food superstar mentor, think about it. Put yourself in their shoes. Role play them for a day and see what happens. You can really have a lot of fun with it. I bet you guys have some other comments that you could share along these lines. We'd love to hear from you today. Let's keep this great dialogue going this week. It's been awesome. Now, guys, you know, I'll be back with you again tomorrow for another episode of Foodie Friday. So I'll be looking forward to seeing you then. I love you. Bye.